Hello, I'm Fauzia Ibrahim with the top stories on Al Jazeera. At least 24 people have died in Bangladesh after a rally organized by the hifazat e islam party descended into violence. Protesters clashed with police in the capital, Dhaka. Shops and vehicles were burnt during the battles. The demonstrators are demanding an anti-blasphemy law, and police have now banned all political protests. The Taliban says it was responsible for an explosion at an election rally in Pakistan. At least 25 people were killed. The blast targeted the religious Jamaat-e-Islami party in the tribal Kuram region. Now, North Korea has reportedly removed two missiles from launch sites on the country's east coast. It is believed that Pyongyang made preparations for a test launch last month. U.S. officials say the Musudan missiles have been moved to an area where they are no longer an imminent threat. Harry Fawcett is in Seoul. The Reuters news agency is reporting that U.S. officials are now saying those missiles have been moved inland, away from those uh, launch sites. One of those officials apparently saying they've been moved to a non-operational location. No confirmation of that coming officially from the Pentagon spokesman. He simply said that North Korea appeared to be on what he called a provocation pause, but wouldn't comment on defense matters. The U.S. and United Nations have cast doubt over claims made by U.N. investigator Carla Del Ponte that Syrian rebel forces may have used the nerve agent sarin. The White House says President Assad's government is more likely to have carried out the attacks and not opposition fighters. And you can find the latest in all those stories and much more at aljazeera.com.